Hi friends, in this video we will be going to see parallel ladder. So we are we are designing now 3 bit parallel ladder using only one mod one technique. It is nothing but using the previously created full ladders and half ladders. So let us start our program by taking the Verilog module and then we will be going on continue on this topic. So Verilog module now it is parallel ladder. So PA is parallel ladder. So for, I am taking 3 bit adder, 3 bit parallel ladder. So we have 2 inputs of 3 bits. So it is 3 bits 2 down to 0 and it is also a binit bus. So it is 2 down to 0 and we get an output of sum which is also a 3 bit. Nothing but it is 2 and we get one carry. See out. So nothing but it is output. Only one bit we will be getting output. So let us see the model how it looks like first of all. So it is a parallel adder. So let us see one model. So this is a basic parallel adder where we can able to see. So this is how the parallel adder looks like. Such just I'm zooming out it. Okay. I can't able to zoom. Just see. Let us see. Now, A, 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 A1, A2, A3, three bits it is. A0, A1, A2, A, we will be taking it as. So, first we have to give to a half adder which contains only sum and carry as output and A and B as input. And for the full adder, it contains two outputs and three inputs. This is how it looks like. So we have intermediate wires like C1 and C2 and C3 and this is our C out signal. So this is how the parallel ladder looks like. Parallel it is coming and parallel it is going out. Parallel in parallel out adder. So now we will be designing this adder. So let us start it. So now for this we have seen that we require small wires. So we require two wires. So wire of so W1 and W2 are two wires. So that's it. And we will be using half adder. So half adder we have given name as HA and we will be using one just I'm giving name as H1. And for to use this half adder, now for to using this half adder, we have imported that half adder to here now. In, in my previous videos you can see the half how the half adder we have designed so half adder so it's half adder h1 and it is half adder so you can able to see my half adder here the small code which you have written so now we will be designing this full adder so we require output comma input so for this half adder we the output is w1 that is nothing but in intermediate wire it is so let us see it intermediate wire intermediate one and a1 and b1 are inputs so here a0 comma b0 are my inputs so just copy it and just paste it so that now we require next with that thing is full adder so which we have written as fa so let us take f1 and it is f2 so giving the names as different so output of this was given to c in so full ladder has three inputs and the output is w2 so it is w2 it is output and it has three inputs as a0 a1 a a0 not, not it is a1 next it is a2 a b1 and the next one is w1 these are the three inputs and the last way we get is the output uh, here the it is sum sum is nothing but we will be getting sum as s not here we have not written half adder two inputs and two outputs so it is s not is the output sum we get here 
and here also we got some as as one and on the wire we will be getting the values so here also we get some as second output and second output is nothing but let's see out your second output so three bits so let us see sum and carry here are the sum and carry so here also the same sum and carry just save it while saving you can see able to see that the half adder and full adder and one full adder has been included in the in our branch so this is how we will be doing this next check the behavior syntax next you simulate the model and let me show you the addition of two three bit numbers so just taking one just taking the brush and taking brush one zero one three bit looks zero one and one one plus one it is nothing but zero and carry is one and one plus one again it is zero and we get carry as one and one plus one again we get zero and carry as one we will be getting the answer as this so let us check it by giving this value those values here so a was force constant the a value was 101 and the b value was 010 zero, 0 double 1 so just apply it and run it so we no, we have not got any sum we have not got any value. it was inputs come outputs just we are checking the syntax again now let me give the values now for you the same values which I have shown here 101 and 011 so yes we are getting these values W2 so outputs comma inputs we have given and next thing we have given is this the values now let us check it's all set to 0, 0, 1 and 2 we have given everything just outputs we have written that inputs now let us behavior model behave it the model so at this time we should get the output correctly 101 next value is 011 just run it so we got C out as 1 and this has all zeros so same which we have written here you can see 101 and 011 we got 000 and here it is 1 so thanks for watching this video and this is how we can make a simple parallel